So I'm, I'm looking for, uh, for anybody here who's got a question. Yes, ma'am. Hi. I'm a long-time supporter of your work on your campaign for governor in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Wow, wow. And um, I was just wondering, you know, I'm a Democrat. Well, why don't you tell us all about it? Agenda 21. I'm not familiar with Agenda 21. It was, it was signed into law, actually, by George Bush. But the United Nations set up um, a, um, a standard that we are all supposed to uh, comply to about in the use of green initiatives sometimes to, uh, to sell it. Uh, Newburyport is one of two communities which has accepted a check from Agenda 21, sometimes it's called Hickley. Um, it, if it's something you're not familiar with, I hope you become familiar with it very shortly. Well, I'm not familiar with Agenda 21, but I certainly am familiar with the United Nations. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and our friends of the United Nations, in some respects, would, would uh, slowly but surely uh, uh, be inclined to, uh, to causes and purposes that we don't support. Uh, I believe in American sovereignty. I'm happy to work and talk with other nations. The United Nations makes a lot of mistakes. Uh, some people think we should dissolve it or shouldn't participate. I actually think it makes sense to have some place on the planet where people can come together and listen to each other, even though a lot of what's said isn't, isn't honest on the part of other folks. So I'm willing to have those discussions, and I'm glad we have, for instance, a, an agency of the United Nations that, that inspects uh, nuclear uh, cheating on the part of certain nations. But uh, when it comes to telling America what America ought to do, that's not the role of the United Nations, and that is certainly not consistent with my view of American sovereignty. So if I'm President of the United States, I will do what is in the best interest of the United States, because when you raise your hand and put your other hand on the Bible, you say that you're going to support the Constitution of the United States. It says nothing about supporting the Charter of the United Nations. And we will we'll support and I will support those interests that keep America strong. As we look around the world right now, there's a lot going on that's challenging. In the Middle East, for instance, you have, uh, you have extraordinary turbulence in Libya, Egypt, Syria, uh, potentially in places like Jordan. Uh, things are, are, uh, are uh, fragile. Israel is facing extraordinary challenges as the communities that, that surround it are changing. This is a time for America to focus on our interests and what is right for America and keeping America strong. My, the lens through which I look at foreign policy matters has always this focus. What is best for keeping America strong? Because America and a strong America is the best hope for peace in the world. Thank you. Taxes on people. There is a sentiment in Washington among 
some of our, our democratic friends that corporations and businesses are bad. That's where we get our jobs. That's where we work. Our retirement is based upon the success of those enterprises. So bureaucracy and regulation has to be reshaped, held down, brought up to date, and encouraging the private sector. Three, we have to have trade policies that work for us, not just for the other guys. China's been cheating for years. We've allowed it to happen without response and recourse. That will change if I'm president. Number four, energy. We spend almost $500 billion a year buying energy from other people. When we have ample energy resources here, thanks to new discoveries of natural gas, our oil reserves, our coal, the capacity for nuclear power, for wind power, power for solar power, we need to develop our own energy resources and become energy independent. And if I'm president, I'll get us independent of the oil cartels. And that's Thank you. 